pretty, pretty obvious to me. The biggest obstacle is the fear of humiliation, embarrassment, or ridicule. The point is to learn what you can do and move on. At the end of the day, you will be judged not by your stomach. You will be judged by how you persist in the pursuit of your goals. Life is one long lesson in humility. Just remember that pride makes us artificial. Humility makes us real. In my opinion, people who are high achievers look up the definition of humility. It's the greatest word in the world. Be bold, be prudent. But, risk it. but life is about risk taking. And trust me, the best risk takers do the best. My definition of a risk is a follower. Go to Las Vegas, somebody gives you $100. You bet that $100, you're done. If you get four, four $25 chips, you might lose the first three and still have the ability to recover. Gamblers lose, prudent risk takers succeed. So after, un <clears throat> after many unexpected de decades as a basketball executive, and after many decades of errors, missteps, and regrets, <clears throat> I'll offer a list, in no particular order, of some of the lessons that life and the world of sports have tried their best to teach me. Number one, life must be kind, uh, fun. Kindness is essential, and you do need to work at both. Number two, smile, laugh, and be pleasant. This may sound naive, it's not. Some of you are too old to have, too young to have seen this movie. Um, <clears throat> Elwood B. Dow. He's a, he was a central character in Harvey, the movie Harvey. Elwood said, my mother used to say to me, Elwood, in this world, you must be oh so clever or oh so pleasant. For 40 years I tried clever. I recommend pleasant. Number three, be strong enough to say, I don't know. When you don't know or understand something, say so. Don't guess. Don't fake. If you don't have the answer, say so. The following seven words often work best. I don't know, but I'll find out. You won't let, uh, mislead your colleagues, and people respect your honesty and self-assurance. Number four, life is too hard to be lived alone. Find time for your family, you only get one. In my case, thank God I only had one. Work at friendship. Develop a talent for friendship. Friends fill a life. They represent perhaps the purest choice you ever made in your life. Number five, and please listen to number five. Don't be colorblind. People are different. Your world is indeed a rich, open, diverse, multicolored, multi-ethnic, multi-textured, multicultural experience, declaring that all groups are the same is a deception. Believing that some ethnic groups are better than others is a moral disgrace. We aren't all the same. We shouldn't try to be. <laughs> Often try, they also educate. And finally, number six. Help some people along the way. Find a cause you care about. Involve yourself and start early in life. Try to lead a, try to start a fire in someone's life who has enormous talent. And if you're a leader, you're gonna make a difference in that person's life. It is hard work. Identify those talented people. Do not let them quit. Make sure you set high standards and goals for them. I'm a vociferous reader. Uh, I read everything. Also, a thing I most like are some of our leaders today, and boy, this world sure needs leaders today. The greatest leader I've ever read about in my life was Winston Churchill. And I would ask each and every one of you to study his life and some of the things he's done in his life. There are so many historical things. If you read his letters and notes, his speeches, this man had a mind that was beyond belief, and he was a leader. There's a book I read, very simple, The Four Agreements, Don Miguel Reeves. The Four Agreements are as follows. Be impeccable with your words. Speak with integrity. Say only what you mean. Avoid using the words to speak against yourself or to gossip about others. Use the power of your word in the direction of truth and love. 
I will guarantee you, everyone in this room has experienced that before. Everyone. And in sports, after a game, you hate everyone. Your language is horrible. Uh, you speak about people terribly. And at the end of the day, you might have great respect. You might have incredible respect. Make sure you do that in your daily life, and particularly the people you work with. Don't take anything personal. Nothing, nothing others do is because of you. What others say and do is a projection of your own reality, their own dreams. When you are immune to opinions and actions of others, you won't be the victim of needless suffering or feel horrible about yourself. Don't make assumptions. Find the courage to ask questions and express what you really want. Communicate with others as clearly as you can to avoid misunderstanding, sadness, and drama. And number four, always do your best. Your best is going to change from moment to moment. It will be different when you're healthy as opposed to sick. Under any circumstances, simply do your best and you will avoid self-judgment, self-abuse, and regret. And finally, I'm going to leave you with these words. <clears throat> and particularly in a, in a business which requires a lot of verbal talk, a lot of verbal interaction, this is what I have learned in my days as an executive. How you work with each person is a unique art. Effective leadership depends on your ability to connect and motivate people, not on your title, position, or power, but on the trust and respect for you. This is, to me, it's crucial for everyone's success. And particularly if you're designed as a leader, people will forget what you said and forget what you did, but they will never forget how you made them feel. And I will tell you today, each person who comes to work every morning, if you can get the kind of employee that comes because he can't wait to see you or interact with his own uh, workers. They come there because they like each other. They come there because they love their job. If you can find a way to employ people who work because of that commitment and they just don't work for a paycheck, trust me, you will have a company that will continue to grow. But as a leader, you have to show that every day in office. Every day you're there. Make that feel special. Thank you very much.